This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Well, lately we've heard a lot about cities and schools that are changing rules around smoking, and the latest is the VA here in Southern Arizona. So this decision led us to ask school districts around Southern Arizona what they're kind of doing to maybe curb vaping and smoking on campuses. Nine on your side's Veronica Acosta has more on what some of them had to say. Hey, good morning. Well, no cigarettes, no vapes, no cigars, no smoking of any kind. That's actually the newest rule right here at the VA of Southern Arizona. The rule was implemented after the health behavior coordinator said it's been implemented at other VAs across the country and proven to be successful. Now, the coordinator said they decided to implement the rule at this VA because they didn't want to continue seeing the effects of smoking on their veterans here. The coordinator also added the decision was made for vets who are trying to actively quit and we're finding it hard because smoking was allowed on the grounds. Now there is a grace period for anybody who is seen to be smoking on the grounds. You won't get in trouble immediately, but eventually there will be a $50 fine for anyone who is caught smoking on the VA of Southern Arizona campus. For now, we're live on the South Side. Veronica Acosta, Kagan 9 on your side. The New York Times says a Yuma sector border patrol agent has been indicted in Tucson for sexual assault and the case is unfolding in a Pima County Superior Court. Tucson police arrested 51 year old Gustavo Zamora after a female agent accused him of sexually assaulting her in a Tucson hotel in the month of May. He's facing three counts of sexual assault and a kidnapping charge. The FBI is investigating the death of a Tucson sector Border Patrol agent. Robert Houghton died Sunday night while on duty, but we're still not sure exactly how it happened. Houghton had served in the Border Patrol for 10 years. He leaves behind a wife, son, mother, and brother. A missing child is back in Colorado after an Oro Valley police officer found her here in southern Arizona. We're told she disappeared last December. Officer Christopher Knapp says he came across a vehicle with Colorado plates. At a local hotel, he then learned the car was registered to a missing woman and a child from Colorado. The plea deal for Ronald Corbin was thrown out. He's the man being charged with manslaughter in Jenna Ayoub's death. The next hearing is set for November 19th. A judge will decide on a change of plea or set a trial date. Meantime, Governor Doug Ducey has found a new director to oversee Arizona's prison system. David Shin, here he is, has been appointed as the new head of the Arizona Department of Corrections. His first day as a Arizona Department of Corrections director will be October 21st. The primary care doctor for the incapacitated woman that gave birth after being sexually assaulted at Hacienda Healthcare can resume practicing medicine. Uh, the doctor was accused of missing several signs of pregnancy. He told the Arizona Medical Board that there were no obvious indications. All right, it's a decent morning out there. Why don't we check in with April for a look at those current conditions. April, good morning to you. Good morning. This is the time you want to get out there and enjoy it. We're still sitting in the 60s. Not bad at all. Perfect for just about anything outdoors, whether it's be a hike, maybe a jog, but it is going to go up very quickly. Unseasonably warm temps the next few days, but it is trickling down. Yesterday we topped out at 97. We're looking at 95 today down to 92, and eventually we'll start seeing those fall temps are norm is about 87. It'll take till Thursday to get there, but then we'll dip below it. Look at those lows. We're going to be starting the day in the mid 50s by Friday and Saturday, holding on to a lot of sunshine and mid to upper 80s for the weekend.